All right, so I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to optimize meshes from SketchUp to get them into a real-time game engine such as Unreal Engine or Unity 3D. And this is important because a lot of a lot of people still model in SketchUp or sometimes you want to get a model from the SketchUp warehouse. We have a lot of our own legacy models from the past buildings that we've modeled that we want to get into our projects. And sometimes we have hundreds of buildings and the way SketchUp works they're not optimized for real-time uh, game engines. Sometimes they can be hundreds, if not thousands, of draw calls when you consider all of the textures and the meshes. So we want to bake our model into one texture and one mesh for optimal performance in a real-time game engine. So I have a model here in SketchUp. This is the Burj Al Rab. That may be pronounced incorrectly. It's in Dubai. I found this in the SketchUp warehouse, and we're going to get this through Blender into Unreal Engine. So once you have your model, you can uh, either select your model that you're going to export, or you can export the whole thing. You go to Export, 3D Model. We will call this the Burge 1. You go to Options and Export Only Current Selections. Sometimes if you have a lot of assets or a lot of buildings and you only want to export one, you can just do one at a time using this option. These three are all deselected. We're going to export texture maps on this one, and then I'll show you in a little bit what it's like if you don't, which is also actually kind of a nice option. You want the swap YZ coordinates to be checked, and you want it to be in meters for correct scaling. So we export. Now we're going to go to Blender and import that model. OBJ, desktop. So we're, here we have our model in Blender. So you want to go over here to the hierarchy and select a mesh. And then go over here in the workspace, select A, select A again to select all the meshes. And then you'll go Control J to combine them all into one mesh, as you can see. I call this the hierarchy. One caveat is that I'm not a Blender expert. This is actually the only time I use Blender. So we've merged them into one mesh. The other caveat is if you have any um, normals that are reversed, that will cause issues. It may cause issues through the texture baking or through missing faces. And so make sure your normals are all correct when you have the model in SketchUp. So we're going to make a new UV map. We'll call it Baked. And then we're going to drag up here. We're going to drag into a second window because we want to see the UV image editor right here. Next thing we'll do is we'll go into the edit mode, which you can select down here, or you can select tab. And then we're going to make a new image. Call that baked as well. How big it is depends on what you're trying to do. We'll do 2048, which preserves quite a bit of resolution. If you have big buildings, uh, you can do you can do more. I've done 4096. Sometimes I have multiple buildings that I do one mesh and one texture. Uh, sometimes there are distant buildings or there's simple textures and you can do 512 or whatever works and you can test different ones as well. So we go over here and we select U, Smart UV Project, press OK. Now we can say that it has unwrapped our UV map onto this image. We click on this, this uh, camera button right here, go to Bake, Textures, and now we're going to bake the textures onto this image. One thing I'm checking for is this helicopter pad because I know that we saw that when I was looking at it in SketchUp. And so that's just a quick check to make sure that we did it correctly. And if it didn't do it correctly here, chances are it's because of normals being flipped. All right, so now we will go to save this image. Save as image. Desktop, Burge 1, PNG. It will say PNG by default. You can also compress into JPEG later if you really want to uh, minimize your file size. Now we're going to deselect uh, or get out of edit mode. Go back to object mode by clicking tab or down here below. We want to delete the original UV map. And then we want to delete all of these materials so that we just have the mesh by itself. And file export FBX. Everybody likes an FBX. Go to desktop, 
call that Verge 1. All right, so now we have it exported, and now we will go into Unreal Engine. I have a blank scene. We will bring them in, import all, press F to fit to scene, and then drag the image on it, and there you go. And one thing that I'd want to point out is it makes this material file. If there are missing faces, you can go here and go to two-sided. It's going to uh, not be as optimized, but will be a quick fix for reverse normals. And you should be good to go. All right, so now I want to show what happens if you don't export the textures. So go to export, same thing as before. We'll call this one Verge 2. But we're going to say don't export texture maps. And sometimes I've found I need to do this if there have been extensive use of aerials and they aren't mapped correctly. And, or if you just want a clean look, you're not too worried about having uh, a ton of detail in your model. So export, it's going to do the same thing. We'll go back into Blender, new startup file, import OBJ, desktop, Verge 2. And same as before, we're going to select all the meshes, Control J to combine them, make a new UV map, call it baked, bring a second window so that we can see our UV image editor. Select tab to go to edit mode. Create a new image. This one we'll just do 1024. Select U, smart UV project to project our UVs on this image. And then we're going to go to bake. We're going to do textures. And this time you'll notice the textures are much simpler. We don't have our H up there. If you had like bricks or something, they wouldn't be there. Uh, SketchUp just simplifies those uh, textures. So now we want to image, save as image, call this one Verge 2, and then we're going to get out of edit mode, delete the UV map, delete all these materials, and now we just want to file, export, FBX, desktop, call this one Burge 2. Now when we go back to Unreal, we will drag these two in, import them, and you'll see the difference between the two side by side. So there you have it. So sometimes, for whatever reason, it makes it a little bit lighter color, kind of like a pastel look. But it's nice if you're looking for something a little bit cleaner there. Also, this is, uh, I'm not a Blender expert. I'm not even a SketchUp expert, although I have more experience than Blender. So if you have additional suggestions, for those of you that know more about these programs, please let us know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time.